Who knew that there was such a subculture to the Quest 2 accessories market that it could support this many golf club accessories? We've got another one from Defonte that looks like it's got a really cool feature. Let's find out. If you were worried that AMBR one we just checked out was expensive, this one is 80 bucks with a $10 off coupon right now, which does put it a lower price than the full price of the AMBR one. But I mean, we had enough discount codes on the AMBR one that it was down to like 42 or $44, depending on where you were at. This thing, you're gonna be paying at least 70 if it doesn't go back to its full price of 80 bucks. An interesting design, the way they made this one, it supports having a protective tracking ring for your controller. For everyone who's concerned about smacking things with this, at least that's a little bit of protection for you. Interesting that they send two, since you're only gonna be attaching one golf club. Got a couple of Velcro straps, not really sure what those are for an all carbon fiber top wait a supposed carbon fiber top <laughs> a shiny black plastic with gray lines that looks like carbon fiber top boy they sure push on amazon that it's carbon fiber and i gotta say at first glance it's almost convincing carbon fiber is a kevlar like cloth that is made into whatever shapes car hoods uh any parts you need light and then they put a it's like a liquid that then hardens over it that's why it's so flexible and so strong because kevlar is super strong but you can see if you really look at carbon fiber close that it's still like a threaded kind of cloth material this you look at it close and you can tell okay that's just plastic with a little gray laser edge design on it. Sneaky. Let's take a look at how this fits. So it looks like this goes with a more conventional design where your controller slips in. Oh, interesting, it has like a joint there. So I'm guessing you push it down. Ooh, that feels wrong. Okay, goes in that way. There's this little tiny tab here that you can pull up, it's spring loaded. So you reach that in and that locks there. I don't know if this is something to tuck this away and I'm guessing that's where your Velcro strap's supposed to go. Golf grip accessories, instructions. Put the handle in, toggle the button, fasten the handle, wrap the handle missing rope around the corresponding position install the handle cover use the velcro handle button position to fix the button so the velcro strap is to hold the grip button in at all times why would you do that is there some golf games where you have to hold the grip button to hold on to your golf club that's weird so they say this thing is for the extra string here so you just wrap this thing through repeatedly kind of a weird choice with how premium they want to make this thing feel i feel like there'd be a better place for that because i feel like eventually that would kind of come loose but it does feel like the controller is pretty stable in there oh and this is also an extendable one just like the AMVR one. So basically we've got the AMVR with a different tip on it to hold on to it. You can feel with all of this up here that this is a lot heavier on the end. This is one that would actually feel more like an iron golf club than a driver because it's got a lot of weight and it's not terribly balanced. So they send you two because I guess technically it depends on if you have your left or your right hand in there because they say L and R on them. These are weird. They're much harder plastic and they're much stiffer. I don't like these as much as like the Kiwi controllers came with a set of these and they were like silicone. Those felt a lot nicer. These feel like they're cheap. So that's what the protective tab and Technically, if I was to do this right, they say I gotta put this on here and pull in the grip. I don't know why. I'm a little lost on that, but maybe there's some games that you need the grip button to be held for. Well, your controller's definitely not going anywhere. And it's got a real style golf handle. That feels good. Hmm. $80 is a lot of money for any accessory. I mean, you could buy a, another Quest 2 with a couple of these. I'm just trying to ask myself, is this in any way superior to the AMBR club? I don't think so. Unless you really like fake carbon fiber, which who likes fake carbon fiber? If this was real, I feel like maybe that would have justified the price a bit more, but I feel like they're really trying to trick us acting like this is real. I guess we gotta take it over and test it out in some games and see what it's like with that extra weight, see how that feels, compare it side by side with the AMVR club. All right, it's time to go VR golfing. So I gotta grab a club here. I think we are still testing the uh, Defonte, the carbon fiber one. Nice shot. Woo! Defonte Golf Club. It feels solid in game. It does feel nice. The problem with the golf club overall is like after trying some of the others and seeing some of the other prices, this thing is just a ton of money. And the fact that they've made me think this was real carbon fiber and tricked me, I just feel kind of like I got deceived on that. It does feel really solid. When you get the when you get the controller in here, you don't feel like that's going anywhere. The extension, I mean, 
who's got space to use that? If you do, that's impressive. Because at full extension, I mean, I'm practically hitting a real golf ball with this thing. Like, that's nuts. Punt the dog across the room with this if you're trying to play like that. Personally, if you're thinking about one of these, I would consider one of the other options. I won't leave a link to this one because it's just too overpriced for what you're getting. And there's other ones that are just as good that are less money. I have a couple more I'm in the process of reviewing and then we'll do a big testing them all, showing them all to you. So if you're kind of on the fence about a couple and you're not in a big rush to get one, maybe hold out for that video or check out the AMBR video, probably up in this corner uh, that we just did. Although that one's only on sale for a limited time. But what do you think out there? Have you used this? I gotta say, I'm playing a lot more VR golf for someone who doesn't like golf than I thought I would, testing all these out. I see the appeal. Eventually you start to get a little better at it and it starts to become more enjoyable, but still not really my thing, but maybe it's yours if you're here. So let me know what you think out there. If you are someone who already bought this, you're okay to keep it. I mean, if you spent that money, it is decent quality. It, it works well. But let me know what you think and I will see you in another reality.